Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and yep, I'm on the floor in my office because this is a nerd vlog, and I gotta show you a whole bunch of stuff, and there's, there's no better place than here in my overstuffed, crowded, filled to the brim, cluttery office. So bear with me, and let's go on this journey together. Go. Uh, there we go. Oh, you know what? You can't... There. I'm printing something right here. This is my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus behind me. I printed a dice tower, and it didn't come out as good as I had hoped on it, and I'm still trying to work through the right settings on the printer. Half the battle of printing is the right settings in your slicing software. The printer could be working just perfect, but if you don't have the right settings, you're going to get crappy prints. Here's the dice tower right here. I did post a quick little preview video using my iPhone to record it in Adobe Clip to, to post it to YouTube. It turned out okay. Don't get me wrong. The dice, the dice are going to roll down these stairs like crazy and they're going to, they're going to roll all sorts of numbers for all sorts of little boys and little girls who, who end up playing with this. But I want to print this better. So I've changed some settings and it's printing right behind me. There we go. I'll just put it right there. Maybe it'll move. moving. If you look over here, here are the pieces for the Canterbury. The Canterbury is a ship on a show called The Expanse, and it's a sci-fi show. I'm waiting to watch it because I've got a lot of stuff on my TiVo I need to catch up on. But here's all the pieces. These printed all at once on the G-Max printer. It has a huge print volume, so why not print everything all at once? The pieces came out pretty good. Look at that. That doesn't look too bad. Here's the front of the ship, I think. Yeah, front of the ship. No, no, this is not the front. This is the front. That's right. I know, I know I need to put together a video, and I need to glue this. I need to find some glue. There's the rockets. These are the rockets for the ship. But this was a fun print. The model's on Thingiverse. I don't know. I can post the, I'll post the link down below. Maybe you can print this out. It's, it, it's gonna be about, I think, 13, 14 inches long, and it's gonna be about that tall, and I don't know, it's, I'm excited. I'm kind of excited to put this together because I like space, and I like ships, and I like spaceships. Oh yeah, that was this, what's this behind me? This, ah, this is the BuildTech spatula. The box contained this. This, this is one of the best inventions for 3D printing I've ever seen. Here's why. When I want to get something off of the build plate, I have to pry it up with a paint scraper or get a chisel under there and kind of lever it up until I can get an edge and then get the paint scraper under there. What makes this fantastic is the flat, very flat and a little bit sharp on the edge there, blade here is, is, is flat, it's flat, it's on the bottom. So when you, you get under that, that piece, you can lift it and you, you're doing this and you're doing this and it saves, it saves trouble. It saves time. It saves time from trouble. I don't know. This is fantastic. If you, if you have a 3D printer, buy this for yourself. Or tell someone who loves you to buy it for you. It's, it's wonderful. I cannot say nice, enough nice things about the BuildTech spatula. I, I swear. I swear. Buy this. You will, you will love it. I thought this was cool. This was a, a Thingiverse model as well. I printed this on my Wombot, and this is printed in Matter Hacker's Brown PLA. Here's how this works. The plant gets planted right here. Dirt and plant roots and plants. It, it goes in here, and then in this, like so. This is the watering spout. So the plant is here, and you can add water, and it, it'll, it'll fill up. So it'll continually just kind of drain this water and soak it up through here. And I'm excited. I'm going to get a plant. I don't, let's see. You can't see it because of all the boxes, but my unnamed plant back in the mini nuke is back there getting sunlight when it's sunny. I need a smaller plant for this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe some sort of plant. I want to put it in my office. I want to put it in my office at work because it's cool. This is cool. I'll put the link down for this model in the Thingiverse. No, I'll put the Thingiverse link for this model down in the description. There we go. I said that right. I moved the camera a little bit because over in this corner you can see here's my original G-Max 1.5 XT 
And right now it's a glorified shelf because I have too many freaking Pokemon. There's a Squirtle and a, a Pikachu and a Charmander. Charmander, right? That's a Charmander. Yeah, I, I printed these and then I just kind of set them over there. Oh, look, hey. Hey, the contest for Ray's guns is coming up in a few days. Make sure you're entered. Go back. No, oh, you know what? Right over here. There. Click there. That is the, the video for, for the contest for, for Ray's guns. Blasters from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Not this one, this is mine for the other ones. But the video should be right over here somewhere and you can click that and it'll take you to that video and then you can enter the contest. There's only a few days left. Get on it. Hey, look at this. This is the new carbon, high temp carbon fiber PLA from Proto Pasta. I got a package in the mail the other day and I was like, what is this? Well, Proto Pasta knows how much I love their filament. So they sent me this sample pack of their high temp carbon fiber. So you print with this and then you anneal it like any of their other high temp PLAs. And then it's a little bit stronger, I guess, or less brittle, or I don't know, we're gonna do something with it. Plus in their promotional material, they kind of play play, play on the, the hot part of it, the, the annealing that you do in the oven, cause they got a guy with a blowtorch and it's just a marketing thing, right? You don't actually take a blowtorch to this unless you're me and you print something with this and then you take a blowtorch to that thing just because you're awesome and you want to know what happens. So that's coming up. What should I print with this? Help me. Tell me what I should print with this that would then withstand the heat of a blowtorch. I need to know. Many moon ago when I had my Etsy store, I sold cookie cutters. I would 3D print cookie cutters and sell them on my Etsy store. I sold them for around five to 10 bucks a piece and people just ate them up. They loved them. I still have a whole bunch left because I had to shut down my Etsy store. It just, it was taking too much time and I wanted to concentrate on YouTube rather than Etsy. And here's some of the ones I have left. Look at this. It's just, it's poo. It's poo. It's, it's poo for every color of the rainbow. And yellow. This is fantastic. Just let me know down in the description if you want me to release the poo cookie cutter model and I will and then you can download it and you can make your own poo cookies. That's my Wanho Duplicator i3 currently printing and it's printing the Dice Tower printer torture test right now. I've printed it on my GMAX, I've printed it on my Wombot, now I'm printing it on my i3 and I think I've got the settings dialed in because the initial indication says it looks good. <laughs> oh man I Okay, I gotta tell you about this. So this is a Harry Potter wand. I think it's Harry's wand. Uh, it comes in a few pieces, that's why it wiggles, but I have, I have some friends that are very, very into Harry Potter and I owe them some wands, but I haven't figured out a good way to glue it and to make the bond strong. I did a test one and I gave it to my daughter and she tried casting a spell and it broke in half. Must not, must not be uh, filled up on all the magic it should be filled up on. Expelliarmus. I don't know if I said that right. I hope I said that right. Don't kill me, Harry Potter fans. Expecto Patronum. Patronus. Expecto Patron. Yeah. One of the things I don't really give you a window into is the amount of filament I have and the amount of filament that I have to go through. As an example, this is ColorFab XT White. It is fantastic filament. I happen to have three boxes of it right here. Next to that is two boxes of ColorFab White PLA PHA. And then, ooh, next to that, this is when it gets kind of exciting. This is Protopasta Stainless Steel PLA, still sealed because I haven't printed something with it yet. This is fantastic, fantastic filament. I love this filament. In the box next to it, I've got, uh, oh, look at this. This is carbon, this is two rolls of carbon fiber PLA. It works phenomenally well. And next to that is the magnetic iron PLA. A magnet will actually stick to things that you print with this. That's amazing. I thought I'd show you this. I got this box for Christmas. It says Nordstrom on it. And I thought, mom, dad, I don't want anything from Nordstrom for Christmas. I opened it up and there's tissue paper, right? Tissue paper, tissue paper. And inside, oh, 
It's a Raspberry 2 with the camera. Now I can put OctoPrint or AstroPrint or one of those on here and then I can hook it up to the printer and do some remote printing and remote print monitoring with it. That's kind of exciting. I'm very happy. Thank you, mom and dad. That was a good Christmas gift. I just, I just need to find the time to put it all together. Holy cow, look at this. This is glow in the dark filament. I, I completely forgot I had this. What should I print with glow in the dark filament? That'd be fun. That'd be fun, fun. All right, glow in the dark filament. Let's do that. Figure out what I should print with glow in the dark filament and let me know down below. Hey, look at that. We've magically transported into my laundry room. <laughs> yeah, I've got a lot of printers and I'm running out of space. And so this countertop has become Wombat Central. Behind me, you see my Wombat printer. I purchased this originally before, or I purchased this originally when they only offered the Wombat as a kit. Now it comes fully assembled. And there's been a lot of improvements made to the Wombat since I bought this, but I'm able to keep up because, well, you see these yellow things here. Those are the new brackets, and I just printed those, and I'm able to keep up with what's cool on the Wombat. It prints, it, it prints really well. Um, there's, there's a lot of interest in this printer, so if you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to ask me. I, I put this together. I literally soldered wires, so ask me anything. I probably know about it. But yeah, it's in my laundry room. Look at this. Here's my drill. <laughs> and come on. What room with a 3D printer in it is complete without fuzzy hangers? Huh? Look at this. This is my shelf. This is my shelf of 3D printed things. And when you run out of room, you start stacking things on top of all of your DVD boxes. And that's, that's what I did here. So enjoy. One of the unfortunate things when 3D printing is a, a printer will go down. It's, it's a mechanical beast, so it's, so it's possible that things can just break. And it's not, it's not the sadness in your heart that breaks it. It's just, that's the nature of things. And that's what happened with my FlashForge Creator Pro here. The wire that leads to the heated print bed decided to break. So I could no longer heat the print bed. I've got a replacement on the way. Which is, which is great, I'm very thankful for that, but this is my only machine with, with plated nozzles, right? This is, this is what I print my stainless steel, this is what I print my carbon fiber, this is what I, this is what I print my magnetic iron on, so I'm, I'm down. I'm literally down and I cannot print those materials on any other printer. I mean, I can, but this had the special nozzles that wouldn't wear down when printing the exotic materials. I have, I have just soft brass on everything else if I print magnetic iron through <laughs> through my G-Max, for example, it'll tear right through that nozzle, leaving it wide open and just printing like crap. So I, I can't do that. I gotta wait. I gotta wait for this guy. Keep your fingers crossed. Hashtag blessed. You might be asking yourself what this box is, and it literally just showed up on my porch. It's another 3D printer. I, I don't know which one. I could look at the label, but that's cheating, and I'm not gonna cheat because I wanna be surprised when I open this one. So this, this box, this is a 3D printer. There's a 3D printer in this box, and, and it's exciting because I haven't opened it yet, and I'm not gonna open it yet. Guess, take a guess, leave a description, leave a comment down below, and tell me which printer you think this is. Ooh, boy. This is actually really exciting, and I'm gonna end the video on this fantastic news. I am super close to 10,000 YouTube subscribers. I think, I think I'm right around 7,500, but I, I've been gaining subscribers because, because I think people like my videos and I, I think they like what I do and they find what I do informative at times, <laughs> at times. So I, I think I'm getting a following and I'm getting people subscribing to my YouTube channel and I'm very, very thankful for that. And when I hit 10,000 YouTube subscribers, oh, I have this massive, contest planned. Seriously, this is this is easily the biggest contest I've ever had and I am I'm I'm literally shocked that the companies that were willing to sponsor my channel by giving me things to give away, I'm I am I'm shocked they said yes. Oh my goodness. I'm okay. I'm going to give away I'm going to give away 
I'm going to give away a and I'm going to give away plus It's also funny because I put a black bar over my mouth and I played the beep sound anytime you guys weren't supposed to hear something yet. Just know these giveaways are huge. I told my wife, I told my wife what was happening and she said, really? Are you serious? And I'm like, yeah, I'm serious. It's fantastic. So please subscribe to my channel. Please tell your friends to subscribe to my channel. It's only gonna make the contest get here faster and I promise you are not gonna miss what I'm giving away. Oh, oh, this is exciting. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know this vlog was a little all over the place, but so was my head, let's be honest. Like this, give it a thumbs up if you thought it was funny or cool or interesting or there was something in it that, that compelled you to smile. That's why you should give something a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Compel your friends to subscribe to my channel. Bring me to 10,000 YouTube subscribers to get the contest activated. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, you guys, I'm excited. This is fun. And remember, I love you. As always, high five.